Thank you so much for logging on to KXOI.com. I'm Mark Peterson, 86 degrees, clouds, breezy, uh, smoke. Uh, no matter how much wind we get, more smoke will come in from the southwest. 58 clouds, smoke, maybe a few sprinkles uh, coming in. Not the kind on the donuts. I mean, real sprinkles that could give us a bit of relief, but only for a little bit. Uh, winds to 15 miles an hour. Yesterday, 85 degrees. Uh, we're going to be right in there today. 81 is the average high for this time of year. We've been as hot as 100, as cold as 40. Stay away from all that. 558, the sun's up. 746, sunsets. Temperatures in the morning hours, uh, into the 50s. It was not bad, but sky condition was horrible. Up into British Columbia, they too have smoke as this continues to pull the smoke, not only from the fires of California and Oregon, but also Washington and kicking it up north. And you can see that path as it makes its way in. We are going to see with a bit of an inversion that smoke just sitting right there ground level and it's going to be with us all week long. And, and so we did have some uh, heavier rains in some areas of Michigan. But cool weather settling in for the northern plains, central plains, into California or uh, into California and Texas, warming up in, in places. Temperatures into the triple digits, certainly Death Valley over to Phoenix, up into Vegas. Uh, temperatures triple digits into parts of Texas, 98 into Dallas. Uh, you can see temperatures uh, into the deep south, into the mid-90s, and then cooling as we get across into uh, areas of the Atlantic seaboard. So we're going to be into the mid 80s today, tomorrow, uh, around 90 Wednesday and Thursday. Smoke filled sky all the way through into the weekend. We could see a break. We'll have a 30 percent chance of showers that could help alleviate some of that. It will also cool us down for Saturday and Sunday. The air quality is um, unhealthy for everyone as it sits at 186. Please use caution as you go outside. And they're asking that if you don't need to jog outside, if you can use a treadmill inside where the air is being filtered or such, that would be good information. All right, take care, everyone. We'll continue to keep you up to date online and also on air, along with our social media outlets on Facebook and Twitter.